Hey, what's going on? So uh, this topic is about uh, recently, I think it was last week, uh, the viral video of that uh, Taco Bell employee. Uh, I don't know how, matter of fact, was it last week? I saw the story last week. I'm not entirely sure when this happened, but there's a lawsuit, a million dollar lawsuit uh, coming from two ladies who uh, got burned with boiling hot water. Taco Bell employee poured uh, boiling hot water on them. Uh, over a dispute, over a wrong order. Uh, they said they were trying to, you know, get the order corrected. Uh, said they were circling the drive through was, was getting ignored. They tried to come to the door. Door was locked. Eventually, eventually a employee let them in. And who knows? Nobody knows exactly what type of words were said. But, you know, it's alleged by the victim in this, the ones who got burned that, uh, you know, uh, they were challenged to a fight and or whatnot, and it escalated from there. But what you see on the video is the two ladies uh, moving, and I think one is a minor. So one, you know, the older lady and the minor, they attempted to go behind the counter, and that's when the worker uh, threw that boiling hot water on them. And so, yeah, so, you know, they're going to get paid. They're going to get paid a lot of money. Uh, but this is the thing, man. Y'all can't keep doing this shit. Y'all can't keep doing this shit. Y'all can't be going behind the clerk, behind the store counters and stuff like that. Every time it's a, a, a fucking altercation or something or you, something you don't like, you, you can't keep doing that. Motherfuckers ain't playing. Now, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying motherfuckers should just go uh, uh, throwing boiling water on anybody. I'm not going to advocate on that, but I'm going to put, I'm going to put extreme emphasis on keep your ass on your side of the counter. I don't care what's being said, what's going on behind there. If nobody's attacking you, nobody's put hands on you, there's no reason you should be attacking somebody else or moving toward them. You know that, you know, you're going behind the counter and stuff like that. You have no intention but for it to be a scuffle and take it there. Like I said, I don't know what was entirely even said or what was the true, you know, words that were exchanged, but there's no excuse for you. The video shows you're moving past and moving to the counter side. Uh, man, you can very easily, when it comes down to that, just fucking leave. Settle it through shit. You do it through a lawsuit. Say, you know, do it through a lawsuit or, you know, contact the company, upper management. Go through that first. See if they can resolve it. You can maybe go through a lawsuit. Go, you know, may not. You ain't going to get a million dollars, but, you know, something for, you know. I, I don't know. You know, there's there's different other ways to do it. Would you still want to fucking eat the food anyway if they gave it to you? You probably gonna find some meat that's been sitting all on the ground or some or some spoiled meat. I don't I don't get why people get into conflicts with you know individuals who are f handling their food. That's crazy to me. That's always been the craziest shit, man. That's just one of the situations where you just your ego and pride gets in your way when you're not even thinking straight. You think, you know, you, oh, you didn't told the waiter this or that, or you told the person at the drive through yeah, you, you punked them, but they the ones handling your food. There ain't no telling what they done did with it. So that, that's, that's stupid to me. That's stupid to me. But yeah, there's never no reason at all for people to be, once they get back, you have nothing but the intention of causing some harm. And there's all type of shit back there. You, you you know once the person's crazy enough to start walking past walking past the counter and they back there with all the grease and all type of stuff like that man all type of shit man anything can get set off and there's been plenty of fucking videos especially just within the past month or so of altercations like this you just had the dude that got stabbed up in the bodega you know walking behind the counter and trying to you know because this girl her her uh, EBT card wasn't working and shit like that. And he's going back there and yeah, he rightfully 
the owner had every right to do what he was, what he did. It shouldn't even have to get through that point, man. And stay your ass right over there. If you cross this line, I'm going to get on you. Like I said, I'm not saying that you should just go throwing boiling hot water on folks, but I get it. I get it on the surface. Like I said, man, I, you know, people, emotions get involved and, you know, we all get angry and shit like that and do things that we ain't supposed to do. But I can't. Like I said, the best thing to do is is walk away. People seeing these videos and all type of shit and motherfuckers acting crazy. You just you had them chicks that were sitting up there tearing up their that restaurant up in New York City because uh uh allegedly the story is, you know, they didn't want to pay for extra didn't want to pay extra for sauce or whatnot. But no matter what it was, they were completely wrong because they're tearing up somebody's property uh somebody who's not attacking them and if somebody's attacking you you're gonna go back at them you're gonna defend yourself on them you're gonna handle that person but the property ain't this shit to you but you know the person's just standing there you may have an argument they could have called you a name anything like that you put it out in the public, uh, go through a lawsuit, whatever, you know, there's other avenues, but you know, leave, but going, you know, tearing up a person's property or going to physical violence, man, there's never no fucking excuse for that, for somebody who's not, uh, deploying physical violence on you. There's never no excuse for that, but you know, people, People think they're justified in doing that shit. I thought I was justified in doing that shit when I was younger and shit like that. It was completely wrong. You know, just a childish mindset. Childish mindset. So a lot of people ain't having that shit. They ain't going for all of that. I know I wouldn't go for for none of that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm going to have the wherewithal. I, I ain't going to throw a hole. I'm going to try to get out the way before it even gets to that point. They're not even going to... Make it back there, man. And like, I'm I'm a man. I got some force on me. I, I, don't, uh, I don't know. It's just all about how how you do certain things. You can't just go dumping a whole thing of boiling hot water on a person, especially you know without no warning or. <laughs> ah, damn, man. I, but I get it. I get it. I get it. You ain't got no business being back there. Keep your ass on the other side of the counter. That fucking simple. You know, you, you do that, you follow that simple instruction, you won't be in this situation. You know, uh, but you have burnt out skin, you're gonna be looking like uh uh <laughs> you're gonna be looking crazy. But you know, you might fuck around and be a millionaire now. So you can do all type of stuff, re <laughs> reconstruct yourself or whatever it may be. I don't know, man. Shit's crazy, man. People getting tired of folks out here. And this ain't helping it even more. They getting tired of motherfuckers. The motherfuckers need to learn. You have no business attacking a person in their business. And if somebody tells you to leave their establishment, that's not saying these are these aren't these guys' personal uh places and employees but if a manager a manager was put in charge of the place there was an owner that put that manager in that position to make those certain decisions so if somebody tells you to leave man leave leave that's simple that's simple uh now like i said there's you know there's ways and there's different avenues to handle stuff when it comes to, you know, your order may be wrong, your money might be got taken. Yeah, I understand, I understand that when your property gets taken or your money gets taken advantage of or whatnot, but, you know, yeah, man, I don't know. It's just, there's a lot of detail to this stuff. Y'all let me think. Y'all Let me know what y'all think, man. Give me y'all side, man, and just something that y'all think I'm missing within all of this, but, you know, yeah, man, people are tired they're tired of dealing with folks' bullshit, man. They see all this stuff that's going on online. They like they ain't about to waste no time playing with you, trying to tussle with you. So some bullshit, so some bullshit escalates even further. They, they, they just gonna get you out the way. Um, but yeah, Taco Bell's gonna pay pay for that. It, it is what it is, man. What can you do? Uh, 
Let me know what you think in the comments section. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe. And I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.